Okay, most of these sessions I am pretty excited about. This one, I'll admit, it's a little bit of a less exciting one, but it's actually one of the most important ones also because it's some basic settings that come with Google Sheets and Google Scripts. So we'll go through it, stick with it. It is it is important stuff. It's when you do have a bug or an issue with something you're doing, this may be what explains it. It's some of the behind the scenes settings. So let's just jump in here. So when you're working with spreadsheets in Google Sheets, there are some hidden, and they're, they're not exactly hidden, but they're not on the surface of how the sheet works. But if you go into the file menu, and then you go into spreadsheet settings here. So these are, these are just some things to know that your spreadsheet file does have a time zone, it has a location, and it has some calculation settings. Now these will, they'll affect something sometimes. They're, it's really rare there's a problem, but there can be sometimes. One that I have had a problem with is the time zone, where I was opening a file or someone had shared a file with me. They were in a different time zone. Google, for some reason, didn't account for that. It seems to, for the most part, actually work very smoothly. But I was getting times that were showing up three hours off, six hours off, and it took me a long time to realize that there was a time zone issue. So something to keep in mind is there are spreadsheet settings for your Google Sheets. Somewhat related to that, when you go to your script editor, there are also properties in there if you go to File, Project Properties. So again, this isn't on the surface and something you'll deal with often, but you should know that this stuff is here. There's a name of the file, which just matches the name. You can put in descriptions. There's some other details about when it was last modified, script IDs, things like that. There are also scopes. This is how much permission your script has to do other things. So for example, if you want to send emails, you may need this send email scope. And there's some other things too, if you want to make some external requests to other services, whether it's an API request or a request to, to Gmail or things like that, you may need some other authorization, you may need some spreadsheet authorization. So it's a good thing to know that if you ever get an error with permissions, you may have to change the scopes. You don't change it here, you change it in the script, I'll show you in a second. But this is where you can see what properties, what's, um, what scopes you do have, what what permissions you have basically for your script to do other things across the system. And you can also have script properties where you set a variable to be equal to something. In case you ever want variables that are set in your script that you want to call or set, you can do that here. So your script can call properties and set properties. So not a super common one, but good to know that you can have these variables that you do set across your whole script. So if you were going to work with some of those scopes, what you do is you would go view show manifest file and what you'll get is this file right here. Where is it? Oh, I got actually, I just unchecked it. There it is, appscript.json. So if you ever do need to change the scopes, if you're having a permission issue, you view that, show it, and you can actually change them here. This, as you'll see, matches the same list that you saw here in my scopes. So this is where they're set. When you're running your script, this is where it checks what the authorization is. You shouldn't take more than you need. It's a good practice to take the minimum you need to run your script. In some case, I take a little more just because I know I'm going to change things. But you'll see there's just some other fun settings in here. But the most important one, again, is the scopes, the permissions that your script has. You do have some macros and some other things in here that you should know is here. When you are looking for some of these settings, they are in here. For the most part, though, you won't spend a lot of time here. You'll just know that when you do have an issue, when you're Googling or searching the website, or searching the internet for a solution, you may have to do one of these things, opening one of these permissions, one of these settings files, and fixing something. So just keep it in mind that this is how it works, that this stuff is in all these sections, and you'll be fine. Thanks.